so I always give it to them before we start. And if you look here, it's your dive time on the second dive. So just write out 46 minutes at your ABT. Go down. Tell me if I go too fast for 23 minutes and now go to the right and we become pressure group. Alright. Then we're F, you go to the right and then you get one and a half hours. So I got here 47 and 134. So it falls in between that box. Mm -hmm. Then you go down and you become B. Mm -hmm. Do I need to do my hair or something? Or? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Alright, B. So far so good, huh? Stop me if you don't understand it. Otherwise it takes forever. Okay, cool. Now we go to the other side. No, no, you're already on the good side. Oh, yeah. All right, at the top then, it says here, after service interval, so B. And here it says the depth. And we're going to 10 meters. So you cross 10 and B together, and you got the white box and the blue box. The blue box is your maximum allowable time. Do they ask for that? No. So that's already your indication is you need to go for the white box. That's simple. Alright, the white box it says 20. And that guys is your R and T. 20. Because we cannot add B and 46 together to get the ending pressure group. So B is your R and T is the white box. And in this case it's 20 minutes. So we still had 20 minutes in our body before we went on the dive. We absorbed 46 minutes on the second dive, so we add it together, and then our total, total bottle time is going to be 66. Cool. But they want to know the ending pressure group. So, after we added the white box plus the uh, ABT, we just follow this big arrow, we turn to table one, and this is where 99% of all the students that get stuck get stuck. You look at the last depth. Uh, why would you say last, maybe do three dives or four dives or whatever, so last dive, in this case, 10 meters. And now you're going down until you see 66 or the next higher one. And in this case, 